Okay, hey everyone and welcome to a brand new Class 66 Rock Stobart review. Now today we're looking at the Eddie Stobart collection by Atlas Editions. This particular model arrived in the post yesterday. Um, so after this model we have got two more models in the Eddie Stobart collection to review and then we'll be moving on to another section of Stobart reviews um, along with a few more exciting things as well. Um, so stay tuned for those. I'm sure you'll be quite impressed with what we've got coming up. So let's take a look at what we've got today then. So today, as you can see, we have got a Scania R440 Highline with a curtain side trailer. This is a certificate for authenticity. So this basically says that the model accompanying this document is an authentic replica officially licensed and approved by Eddie Stobart. So as you can see, we've got an image of the truck on the certificate, what we're going to be looking at, and a description. And on the back, we have just got a bit of information about the Scania R440. So I'll just bring that in a bit so you can read it for a few seconds. Okay, so let's move on to the review. So, as you can see, this is the box. And inside we have a Scania Highline Kurt inside. The name is Adrian and the fleet number is H5699. So as you can see on the front we've got the truck, we've got a description. We've also got the Stobart cab wrap design on the edges of the box. As you can see the box is styled like the trailer. So if we turn the model around to the side we can see it says Eddie Stobart 176 scale die cast metal special edition collector's model and as you can see again we have the trailer design on the other side and underneath we have the Atlas Editions logo and the Eddie Stobart logo now this isn't really lightweight it's not really heavy um, it's pretty in between light to medium weight I would have said so let's take the truck out of the box and take a look at it. So I'll just put the box up there for a minute and turn the truck round. So as you can see here we have the Scania R440 Highline. So as you can see it's presented on a very nice display stand like I say it's not too heavy so it's in between light and medium weight I would have said but as you can see on the display stand we have the description Scania Highline Kurt inside the name Adrienne or Adrienne however you want to pronounce it and the fleet number is H5699 so let's start with the front of the cab so I'll just zoom the camcorder in a bit so you can see that so as you can see on the foil just here we have the word Stobart in green. Moving down, you can see we've got the crab, the not the crab, the cab wrap design printed neatly on the front and sides. Um, if I just zoom in there, oops, a bit bad focus there. Um, I don't think we can get any closer, so I'll just bring it in. So as you can see, if you can just see that we have the name Adrienne just there. Um, but the camera is blurring up slightly when I try to zoom in on it. Moving down, we can see very smallly there. Um, we've got a Scania R440 badge. Um, but you can hardly see that even with looking over the top of the camcorder screen unless you really hold it close to you. And we've also got the Scania name in silver there, as you can see. Moving down, we've got the indicators and the headlights on the left and right hand sides. Um, we've got a red and white striped bumper. And we also have the number plate, which if I zoom in is PL10AMK, I think it is. But we'll see that a bit better when we take a look at the back of the trailer. Also, on the left and right hand side, you can see we've got the mirrors and the blind spot mirrors. So, let's turn the cab and the stand around. So, as you can see on the side here, 
we have the steelbarkgroup.com website running across the top of the cab. Now I know they've changed this recently so I'm not sure whether it's the same website. Again printed on the side of the cab door you can see we've got the cab wrap design in green and a silver Stobart SRO just at the top there. And we also have the name Adrian and the fleet number H5699 on the bottom of the passenger door. As you can see it's a six wheel tractor unit so it's a 6x2. So I'll oops, I zoom that out again. I zoomed in the wrong way. So that's hence why I've got the three wheels either side. So moving on to the trailer now. So as you can see it's a curtain side trailer. Um, now I can't quite remember what these markers are for. I did read it in a Stobart Spot On magazine. Um, but I completely forgot. But if you do know please leave your comments below. As you can see we've got the word Eddie Stobart in white running down the length of the trailer. That's got a red outline around each of the letters. And underneath we have the word words dis delivering sustainable distribution in white. As you can see if I just run my finger slowly down the trailer we've got some very nice trailer straps painted in black and as you can see under there we've got the trailer legs it's a triaxle trailer with green wheel centers so hence the three wheels on either side making it the triaxle version and not the double axle so if we turn the cab and the trailer around to the back now so as you can see on the back of the trailer, we've got something a bit different actually. We've actually got an advertisement for London South End Airport. So it says, new superfast terminal, southendairport.com website, fly to New York. Um, we've got Dublin in there. There's some other writing as well. Um, it's, I can't quite make out what that says, so I'm just going to try and bring it in which the camera doesn't want to do so it's a bit bad focus that so I'll zoom back out so we'll try again so it says clear right fly to New York clear immigration via Dublin so I'm guessing flights to New York go from Dublin um, so I haven't actually flown in my life to be fair um, but I only got my passport a couple of years ago, but I am planning on flying eventually. Um, probably to New York actually, or somewhere in America. So, I don't think I'll be going via Dublin though. But anyway, back to the review. So as you can see on the bottom of the trailer doors just there, we've got the trailer number which is ET4750. Moving down, we can see we've got the brakes, the indicators and the reversing lights, as well as some warning panels um, on the bottom of the trailer just there, along with the red and white stripe bumper. And again, you can see we've got the number plate PL10. I'll just zoom that back out again, actually. A bit of bad focus there, and we'll just zoom in again. So it's PL10 AMK, the number plate. So, turning the stand and the truck around to the other side now. So as we can see we've got nothing much different on this side. We've still got the Eddie Stobart wording in white running across the length of the trailer with the red outline around it. Underneath that we have the words delivering sustainable distribution. As you can see we've got the green wheel centers just there on the wheels. Taking a look at the cab there's nothing different at all on here that I can show you either. We've still got the Stobart cab wrap design on the cab on the driver's door, the fleet number just there, H5699, and the name Adrian, if you can just about see that, if the camera will let me just go in a bit further. Ah yes, it's blurring a bit, so I'll have to just zoom out. So, as you can see, just inside the trailer there as well, we also have the trailer number, um, but because of how the camera is angled, I don't think I can get in to see all of it. Yes, you can't. You can't see it very well unless you take it off the stand and disconnect it. So, that's it basically. The Atlas Editions Scania Highline Curtain Side Adrienne in Eddie Stobart Limited Livery.